Hey everyone, I'm Nicole and today we're going to go over how to make your own candles. I think with holiday season coming up and it's the fall, it's nice to have some nice warm candles glowing throughout your house or wherever you're living. Um, or you can just smell them if you're not allowed to light them. So I have basically got together some jars. So they have like an inside to them. And I got them from Michael's, which is a local craft store. So you could probably go to like any craft store and find them. Um, and then you basically take these jars, whatever side you decide, or you can upcycle old jars and use a glass cutter. Um, for simplicity, we're just gonna go with these simple jars today. We're going to boil some water, which we have going here. And I've got an array of old crayons here, and then I have some peeled ones here. So you'll wanna make sure that you have crayons in the colors that you want your candles to be. And then I think the plan for these is I'm going to mix them accordingly. So I'll have like some that I wanna be like swirly with different colors, some that I wanna have like just pink or blue or yellow and whatever it happens to be. Um, and then importantly, you don't just put the crayon stuff in there. That would be a disaster. You put it in like, so I've got this small container boiling here and then I've got this one which is a little bit bigger but it like stops it from going all the way down so I'm using that as a way to boil it so it still gets a heat here so I can heat up the soy um, so I have millennium soy wax so it's literally just this it'll pick up the color and then I have some wicks that I also got from Amazon I also have some surf wax because so I thought it would be cool to create some surf wax candles so I have that that I kind of like gathered and put in here it's all like sandy and gross but I figured it'd be cool to put in a candle. So let's try it. So the water's boiling. I put the tray um, for like the double burning system over top of it. And now I'm about to add some of the um, soy and look, it's like melting right away. This is working great. I'm gonna add a couple more of these and then I'm gonna choose a color to start. I think I'm gonna start with blue. Adding more soy. Also, if you don't like soy wax, you can choose like other wax. Soy was the most economical option when you go to like look on, for instance, like Amazon or whatever. So that was why I chose it. And it also had good reviews because it like melts really easily, which you're seeing here. Ooh, it's like super steamy. I just dropped a crayon in and I broke it in half. So this is half of a crayon. I'm not sure how the color is going to stick or flow, but here's the other half of the crayon. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in. It's getting kind of steamy. And it's cool how it kind of rolls all over the place and it creates just this beautiful blue color. So I'm pretty excited if it'll be like a blue and white swirl candle for the first one. Another thing I didn't think of initially is that you'll want to have something handy like right away to grab these. So I have like these oven mitts that were just kind of laying around the kitchen for like general oven use that I want to use. So here's the vibrant blue color. I'm about to put it into here. And then I'm thinking I'll make like a creamy white that I'm hoping to swirl in before it cools. So I'm pretty excited. This will be fun. Ooh, it could look like waves, like on top of the ocean, like with the white. I gotta put the wick in there first. Also, I use a, um, like a spork. Um, it was like, because it has like an end that's not metal. That way you don't burn yourself. If you could use like a wooden spoon or something, that'd probably be smart to have in hand. So now before I put it in the container, I'm adding in the fragrance. I totally forgot to do that because I was just like, I didn't know what I was doing and I was kind of nervous. So this is my first attempt. Just added some fragrance. I added just a little bit because I'm not sure like how much to actually add. So we'll see how this turns out. So I let these five candles sit for maybe about two hours and they are currently dry. I had the wooden sticks, whatever you call these, um, sitting on each side of the wick to help hold it up. And now that it's centered and dry, I just removed those. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, there's variety of colors again, so this one's how it looks if you don't add any color. This one's the blue crayon. Um, this one is a pink crayon with some white crayon. Um, this one and this one are both the same colors, and they are the aqua dye that I had. And I got that from Michaels as well. So I got the fragrance and the dye from Michaels. Thanks for making candles with me. Hope you make some yourself and enjoyed the process. Stay tuned for more. I'm still figuring out what I'm putting on the channel, so if you want to put some comments down below on what ideas you'd like to see, I'd appreciate it, as well as subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see more of.